Inclusion Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. Well, that was weird. <laughs> this year, I'm participating in Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Why? Because they saved my daughter's life two times. The first time was just within a few days of her being born. Um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old. And again, an intestinal issue that they found and um, with a quick and easy surgery, uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had actually was uh, what killed one of the BGs. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, it just presents us so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page. But uh, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting Joe Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. Alrighty. Let's see here. There we go. Looks like we're okay. Um, let me just double check um, the stream and make sure that the audio is working. Um, <clears throat> I started up Windows without my headset connected, which uh, for some reason seems to freak Windows out. Um, let's see. All right, just a minute. Okay, it seems to be working. Um, it's not uh, a very good stream to uh, um, Twitch, but that could be my connection. So um, I'm not going to worry about that because I always upload a um, good quality um, from my local recording afterwards anyway. So coming back here, <coughs> um, playing multiplayer Civ again. Um, and uh, this is the game where I'm with Dan, and I'm thinking of doing war against the um, Spaniards. Um, <coughs> so, I've also got these annoying barbarians here that I was sending this Chokunu to go take care of before they pillage my stuff. Although, I seem to have enough um, workers that if they do pillage stuff, it's not going to be in the world. But it's always good to get some experience on your units anyway, so. Looks like they made some pretty good work with those uh, musket men, which is nice. Um, also, with these these games that <coughs> um, we're playing over a large span of time, um, because they're multiplayer games, um, it's pretty easy to quickly lose track of which territories have been um, pillaged and stuff like that. Um, and so, I prefer not to have to worry about that. Alright, so I have this settler, which I must have started this production way, way long time ago. Um, there's, it's a bit, a bit crowded on this map at this point. I'm not sure where, and this must have been, I must have started that before I realized that Dan was here, and I'm kind of surrounded at this point. Although, I guess there's a possibility of westward expansion, but I see borders here and here. Um, I could just terminate this guy. This is telling me to build up here. Sure, why not? And if he gets captured, then he gets captured. I don't really care too much at this point. Um, looks like I'm going to expand mostly by conquest. Um, so I'm going to save this production for later. And I don't really care 
I mean, I kind of care, but uh, it's fine. An enemy has been spotted. That was the dude they attacked. Who's probably gonna pillage, but that's okay. All right. So at this point, we've got some conquistadors over here. And we've got uh, this guy here. We've got Madrid here, which is their capital, uh, and they've got Barcelona. So. If I can take both of these, so if Dan's watching this, or if he's paying attention, and he comes here, I'm going to be really trapped, and that's going to be really annoying, because Dan proved a lot tougher than a computer opponent to defeat. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. But if I can kind of go this way and take them out, then I can have like a path to expansion out this way, unless Dan has already taken this, you know, if it's been a while since I had last had an explorer come this way. Um... I'm not, in this version of Civ, in Civ 5, I'm not usually an um, intercontinental type of guy. Um, it tends to be a lot harder than it was in previous versions of Civ to maintain your um, territory, maintain territory over large continents. But uh, we'll see. Uh, and I still haven't found Dave, as far as I know. I don't remember, I mean, he must have, we must have, our units must have met at some point, but he seems to be having a rough time of it at this point. Um... So I'm feeling a little impatient, so, and my units are more or less where I need them to be. Uh, he's got a Terror CO, which is a special unit, but I do have these two dudes here. Let's see if he can attack from where he is at. He can. So I'm going to, let's see, the, if I look at my diplomacy, we're friendly, but I don't care. Um, saludos. Saludos to you, too. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to declare war. Peace, biatch. Alright, so now we're gonna do this. Ah, that dude did not take much damage there. That is uh, a little alarming. Alright, um. Let's bring my Chokunu. Oh, shoot, there's a Conquistador right there. Unless he. Nope, nope. This battle may not be quite as easy as I'd hoped, but that's okay. I have lots of pikemen, and pikemen are good against horse-mounted, uh, you know, mounted guys. Let's bring him a little closer. Alright, and I do have some uh, musketmen. The question is, how do they get to where I need them? Let's see, who else needs to move this turn? Well, we've got this Chokunu. Can he attack anyone? He can't. Um, he's kind of trapped, but that's okay. Uh, who else has to move this turn? This guy does. Let's... It's a minor defeat, but it'll help make this guy a little weaker. Oh, these guys can shoot. Interesting. So this is kind of like their musket men. Okay. So if these guys attack, I'm not in a good place, but that's okay. So, so it looks like I'm between these guys right now. These two. Alright, let's move him to be in a defense... Let's, let's put him here. I think that's a good spot for him to be. This guy can wait. Alright, so Guangzhou has finished its settler. Um, so what I like to do in these games where I'm not going to be here for a while is to... Uh, why can't I turn on my... Uh, maybe I have to pick something already. Uh, let's just pick a garden for this. Alright, so show the queue. I like to show the queue. So, I'm at war now. We could definitely use some cannon. Um, some pikemen, and an armory would not be bad. Okay, so this guy, who's uh, quite a bit closer to the battle, which is good. Um, let's do an armory first, followed by. See, this guy is going to take forever to build stuff. So good thing he's doing those forges and all that. Um. Ryan. No. Let's let's assume he's going to be able to do a little better job later. And uh, do some musketmen, maybe a trireme, and a cannon. Okay. This guy, way, way far away from everything. Uh, and takes forever to build everything. Um, uh, it looks like we don't have anything that he could build to go... F oh, I guess he's working on a workshop. That would help him go a little faster, but we're also... Oh, well, we're zero on money, so that's good. 
But uh, let's build a bank with this guy. Um, ooh, we definitely need this. Let's mm, not have to go back and move the bank afterwards. Um, and uh, <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and do a cannon. All right, so I would definitely want to move the stoneworks up. There we go. Uh, even before university, that's going to help build things more quickly. Uh, perhaps before the workshop that's currently being worked. Uh, 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 no, that's okay. All right, this guy's building barracks, which is good, and walls and a cannon. Um, anything that can make. Oh, definitely need a workshop. Um, and ooh, my people are not very happy at all. A theater and a musketman. All right, this dude should definitely build a theater, an armory. Oh, and this is going to be one of my key places. My capital is going to be one of my key places for making all these units because I can make units quickly. So can this guy? Unit, 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 an armory. Unit, unit, unit. All right, all right, that's everything. <clears throat> so I think I'm good. Let's end this turn. Save. Go to the main menu. All right, and let's load up the next save. Um, we use a giant multiplayer robot to pass our saves back and forth. I don't know if there's anything even remotely as good or anything else that people use. <coughs> Alright, so next game is called Tiny Mesa Civ. <coughs> My intent was this one to make was to make a nice small game. Unfortunately I did not make the land mass small. So this game has gone on quite a bit longer than I thought it would. I also built a whole bunch of units expecting to go into battle right away, and that has not panned out, <coughs> which has not been very good for my coffers. Alright, so of course I'm losing gold, I don't know which units I'm losing each turn, um, I'm way behind Dan, I don't know if Dan has a giant sieve now or something like that. I'm about to have a settler, which might help. It might make things worse. I don't know. All right, let's go attack this way, just to give these guys something to do. Um, I don't even know. This land sucks. I guess I'll build something over here somewhere, where all these cows are and horses. Ooh, horses! That'll give me some mounted units potentially. So that was a pretty quick turn. So that's saved. And now go over here to submit my turn. Okay, that's done. Brave New World. <coughs> I know it seems like I always have really bad allergies when I'm streaming, but my allergies are actually horrible today. Um, I've gone through about <coughs> half a box of tissues. So back in Civ 4, I think I mentioned this before somewhere on my blog, if not on one of these videos. <coughs> back in Civ 4, I used to always play as a Japanese. Um, I don't remember which perks they had, but they had some pretty neat perks, and so I used to always pick them. Um, oh, a workboat, excellent. Uh, ooh, plus one production, definitely what Osaka needed. Uh, someone, I guess I was completing that. I don't remember if this only tells me stuff if I was trying to do it too. I'm at the, this is the game where I'm doing the worst. I'm at the bottom. Hopefully I can turn that around. I don't know. In this game, when you're playing against humans, uh, how many chances you have to screw up. Uh, let's make a shrine. Alright, so... 
Let's see, they've got six production and two science, no gold, two culture, none of that. Um, could definitely use some culture, but I could also definitely use some food. The faster I can get these guys to grow, the better. <coughs> uh, wouldn't mind having a scout uh, out there as well. And a worker can help us develop the land here. Uh, caravan? Sure, why not? Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I won't do a caravan. Maybe I'll do a, uh... Maybe I'll do a ship, since I have to be right here. And, uh, an archer, I guess. Alright, this guy's pretty full, and this guy... Kyoto. Uh, I'll put the pyramids. Why not? Another quick turn. <coughs> I think that guy was following the settler. I think I'd probably bring him back to help him mine this worker, wherever this worker happens to be going. I'm not, I don't quite remember. <coughs> Is the following trade of interest to you? Alright, so I saved. Now, uh, to the menu. Alright, just one more game. Which is another Brave New World, uh, game. <laughs> which has a lot of players. It has one... Let me start loading it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 players. Um, only three of us. Only my brothers and I are real, but... <laughs> it's quite a game. That game's probably gonna last a while. Unless one of us just, you know, dies. I think this is one where I'm doing okay, um, but uh, I'd also like to get a little deeper in so that uh, I can do a little more per turn, given how long we are between uh, games. Boy, having this camera here is not, this wide angle is doing weird stuff to my shoulder. My shoulder is not like some giant mess. Alright. So, here we go. I'm in third place, which is not bad. I think this is one of the games David's doing the best in. So I have a great person over here. Um, do I have a religion yet? I don't remember. I have a pantheon, I see. Okay. Alright. Uh... Nothing I can do. Huh. This happened last time as well. This is very annoying. I'm gonna have to quit out and get back in. Uh, something about this game doesn't like being launched five times or something? I don't know. I'm just going to do something over on my other computer. Just as it is always been. Let's skip that first. See if uh, this works a little better here.
I like that dude's goatee, it's pretty epic. Come on. Alright. Unit needs orders. Alright, let's take on this dude. <laughs> Definitely want to take this and see if I can get uh, some money out of it. A work boat. Alright. Um, definitely have a lot of, I have almost a surplus of workers at this point, but uh, that's okay. We're here somewhere it was telling me to build. Alright, and I've got my great profit. I'm gonna found my religion. Alright. Um, I will pick let's see Why not? This is just an icon, doesn't really matter. Heroicism. Alright. So the founder belief. <clears throat> so, uh. I like this one over this one because it gives you a constant stream. This one's kind of neat too. Per city or per follower. This one, this one will be more in the late game. I'm gonna go with that one. And my follower belief. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna go with culture. I think culture is pretty cool. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Pre-purchase industrial land units. That's. Now that's going to expire eventually. <clears throat> Peace gardens, religious art. Hmm. Happiness is always good, but I think culture is better in the end. So yeah, I'll go with that one. Core music. Found my religion. Now everyone will get to find out about that. I'm sure my brothers will comment on the name. It's just more fun that way. So we'll save. And there we go. So, uh, thanks for watching uh, me play multiplayer save. Um, as I've said before, um, <coughs> I'm not going to be able to play um, for extra life at the time that um, the uh, everyone's going to be doing it for 24 hours. I have a family obligation at that time, um, uh, so um, I'm kind of almost in the the final stretch here. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, um, once November hits, things are gonna get very busy for me. Um, right now, I'm working on um, finishing up my uh, Baltimore Comic Con coverage over on my Comic Pal uh, website, um, which also has videos on YouTube. Um, and uh, so if you were thinking of donating uh, uh, to me and maybe waiting for a game night, I'm not going to be participating. So if you can, you know, donate anything, um, <clears throat> I had this crazy goal of $1,000. I had uh, dreams of, uh, of corporate sponsorships and stuff like that. Um, it's not going to happen. But I'd really like to get up to 300 if we can. Um, we're just 40 bucks short of that. So um, I think... Um, it'd be nice. Each person that participates in Extra Life on average gives 200. So if we get to 300, we're, you know, a nice little bit above. But uh, either way, thanks for watching. And um, <coughs> uh, once once the New Year hits, or once Extra Life has passed, I'll be unveiling a new overlay. All right, well, thanks for watching again.